So it's time to find out about the correct shoes for my dress. And I have with me here Kate from Cinderella Bella. Hi, Kate. Hi, Hi Sophie. So tell us, in order that we're not going to feel absolutely dreadful by the end of the wedding day, what is the correct heel height or what's a recommendation you'd have for a height of the heel for the perfect wedding shoe? Well, certainly the height depends on what you're used to wearing. If you, when you go to work and when you go out at night, you wear a nice high heel, you'd be perfectly fine wearing quite a nice high heel. However, if you prefer to wear flats, sort of around socially, etc., it's a bit of a mistake to try for the really big breakneck stilettos for the wedding. You really, really will suffer. Tell us, have you got a favourite as an example of one of those stilettos? Um, look, probably for, in terms of comfort, um, this is, is, is got a great um, heel width, uh, which really helps in terms of comfort. So we do have lots of really thin stilettos, but see how this shoe here has quite a nice width to it. It just, just gives you a bit more stability on the day, and you're not using those muscles in the legs quite so much mm. to stay stable. Especially if we haven't been so good with keeping in shape and keeping those muscles trim. <laughs> yeah, I mean, speaking of that, um, doing a bit of freestyle, you know, getting, a, you know, swimming, um, you know, with, with, your, with anything that involves a, that sort of kick actually really helps the, uh, the high heel muscles in the legs. Now, I'm very curious to know, it's 2007. So what does a bride wear as the latest fashion in 2007? Well, surprisingly, something that's really in fashion that surprised me is really lovely blingy heels. That's really what's in fashion. I'm selling lots and lots of those. I've got some great examples. Uh, this shoe here is a Badgley Mishka shoe, which is designed in uh, in Los Angeles, and it's worn by all the stars, Sharon Stone, Kira <laughs> Knightley, etc. But this heel here that's sort of silver with crystals at the top really is something to behold. I mean, it's a beautiful shoe from the front, and from the front, it's quite a traditional look, but again, just that heel is just just quite amazing. It's, it's gasp-worthy, really. I totally love it. <laughs> <laughs> Another great example um, of an amazing heel uh, is this one here. So oh. it's just a classic peak toe, but have you ever seen anything oh. like it from that... a heel perspective? Okay, well, I hear a lot of brides saying, yeah, but actually, we're wearing a floor-length dress. Mm. I mean, who's really going to know if we even wear thongs? Like, who's going to know if we wear runners? Yeah, well, I mean, the thing with wearing a really flat shoe is that there's something to the way that you walk. Um, however, if you do really prefer wearing ballet flats uh, around the house and, and socially, then you probably should go with something like that on your wedding day. Otherwise, you can get sort of grumpy by the end of the night if your feet are really, really hurting. Here's a pair of shoes that I designed called Dorothy. Oh, you designed it yourself. I, I did. Oh. And it's just, it's just, I mean, there's, there's no need to have, just because it's flat, for it not to be adorable. Mm -hmm. So we've got, you know, the lovely crystals, Frosty crystals going there a little bow on the side, which is just a lovely sort of sweet look um, and certainly something that you can swap into a little bit later but as long as your gown doesn't go all the way to the ground. So that's the problem with going, swapping in later in, on into a, a flat shoe is that your mm. gown can start to drag mm. and one of the reasons, one of the ways that we get around that problem is that wait for it, this is pretty oh. pretty unbelievable. <laughs> Everyone laughs is there, at my thong. Is this something out of Priscilla Queen of the Desert? <laughs> yeah, well this <laughs> is this is for, if, if a bride has gone for a Truly spectacular oh, heel height. Truly my... spectacular heel height. <laughs> and she's starting to really suffer by the end of the night. Oh. At about 10.30, you know, when she's, if she still wants to da hit the dance floor, she has. if she does want to swap, it does have to be still the same height, otherwise the gown will drag uh, and get filthy. So that's what they're for. They're definitely not for wearing down the aisle. But after 10.30, everyone's had a few champagnes, so no one will really know. And who's to say it's not for walking down the aisle? <laughs> <laughs> You'll be having a beach wedding and having one of those. Things, you know? <laughs> yeah. Gorgeous. Not very dainty, though, are they? <laughs>